Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you've got Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a reading for Capricorn for May 1st to the 15th, 2020. I would like to say, do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. These readings, they may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos as someone out there might enjoy them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. <clears throat> So yeah, we do keep it true love energy around here. Happy, friendly, and loving. Nothing to fear. Why? Because we are calm and we are cheerful, right? <laughs> All right. So yeah, I've been thinking about, you know, possibly showing myself on camera in the future. But, you know, it's still up in the air. I don't want to scare you guys <laughs> any more than you might already be with my, ah, my hands. No, but um, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. My confidence level isn't really that great. But, uh, I mean, if you did want to know what I look like anyways, you can just click the drop down and go to my Facebook page and basically stalk me or look me up. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Whatever, you know. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, was thinking about that. Don't know if I'm going to really do it, but I'm thinking about it. I don't know. I do want to make sure, though, that the cards are always being shown. That's the main focus here, so that's another thing, all right? So let's get started for Capricorn. Also, as you see, I have these three stones here, right? So uh, I want you to think about a question, and at the end of the reading, I'm going to go ahead and reveal the answer to your question through those stones, right? So you have plenty of time to figure out which stone is calling out to you, right? So we're going to go ahead and get that general energy for Capricorn. Uh, this is for... May 1st to the 15th, 2020. <clears throat> All right, general energy for Capricorn, May 1st to the 15th, 2020 is... All right, King of Water. All right, Capricorn. You could be in that King of Water energy. Somebody who's very, um, you know, this guy's he's emotional, you know. He doesn't really show it that much, but he is. So you could have actually uh, water in your chart, yeah. Um, but I do see here that this king is very, very emotional, and I do see, and you look at that, you guys, you see in this picture, there's seahorses on there. You know seahorses, uh, they mate for life, right? Say they keep the same mate for their entire life. Um, I don't know if you're dealing with somebody like that, or if this is you, but let's go ahead, uh, I think this might just be your energy, all right, Capricorn? Let's go ahead and find out what your first three cards are for uh, your reading for May 1st to the 15th, 2020. May 1st to the 15th, 2020. May 1st to the 15th, 2020. This is for Capricorn. Capricorn is feeling something all up in the feels, right? So the first three cards out are... <clears throat> All right, so we have the two of air. This is like uh, making a choice. You gotta make a choice, right? This is a card of Libra. It appears that your chakras are getting, you're trying to align your chakras. That's what I'm feeling. You're trying to align those up, not quite there, all right? You are um, trying to get in touch with your feminine and uh, male energies, right? Male and female energies, right? Um, I also see that um, there is a dark side to, and a light side to you, Capricorn. Yes, there is. Look at that. Who else are we dealing with here? We have the Eight of um, <clears throat> Fire. And look at that person. Wow. Eight of Fire. You have some passion for somebody. All right. And what do we have here? The Ace of Earth. Right? We all know what those mean, you guys. What's going on? Destiny. Holy shit -ski. <clears throat> Capricorn, whatever you're going through right now, this is your destiny, buddy. And that is like the prettiest card in the deck. One of the prettiest cards anyways. That's why they have it on the front cover, right? But I do see Capricorn. This is your destiny. Whatever is going on here. Let's find out uh, what this two of air is. Let's get a little bit more insight on this, right? Two of air, and I just saw the king of water. You know what? Let me look at him, too. Let's see what he has to say, because he was the first person I seen here, right? <clears throat> All right, so king of water. He's a calm person, right? Contemplative, insightful, fluid, balanced, protective, nurturing, jealousy, and possessiveness. Okay, so Capricorn, you could have share these qualities with this person, right? Calm person, insightful. Goes with the flow, right? Yes. 
But this person, this person thinks a lot. This person thinks a lot, a lot. Like, you know, oh shit, just right, opened right up to the two of Aaron X. Duality, polarity, separation, unity, dichotom, dichotomy. Okay, integration, choice, big picture. All right, so somebody is seeing the big picture, basically, right? Somebody's been in separation with somebody. <coughs> Trying to align themselves, get themselves straight, right? And during this time, possible hermit mode, hangman mode, whatever, uh, virus mode, right? During this time, this person has reflected. This is uh, in the past, right? Whoever you're dealing with has reflected on things, right? He understands or she understands that everything, you know, Nothing is ever quite clear. You can't have that black. It's either yes or no. No, sometimes you have to go in between. You know, that's what I'm feeling here. So you might be a very uh, strict person, somebody who always wants it your way, but I'm letting you know right now, Capricorn, you got to cut that shit out. It's not what you have to do. That's not how things work. You're going to have to come to compromises in your life. And this is in regards to all life uh you know, situations could be in a uh, family, marriage, love, friendships, whatever. But I do know that um, you have to, there, there has to be a point in the middle where you can meet with somebody there and, uh, and um, agree, right? So let's go ahead and find out what's going on. Whoa, shit. What's going on here? Okay, that's that's enough. Let me something obviously, obviously, there's a story here. Okay, so let's find out what that shit is. All right. So somebody or you wanted to have a new beginning in love, right? This is somebody that you consider to be your sunshine. She could have been a Queen of Pentacles person, right? Or this is you, Capricorn, as a Queen of Pentacles, right? You refuse to make a choice over a situation in regards to that sunshine, right? There was a three-party situation that you were involved in or you got somebody involved in somehow, somewhere, and that came to an end, right? It came to an end. It seems that you were always having to defend yourself in that situation. Why? I don't know. Why, Capricorn? Why were you always defending yourself? Apparently, you are defending yourself because you were not doing something right. Were you able to defend yourself? How was the outcome, right? It doesn't seem like it was very good, though, and that's why you're making a choice to go within and figure things out. Yeah, it was a burden. You or somebody in your environment was a burden. The way you were acting, the way they were acting, somebody was acting in some way where it caused burdens, okay? <clears throat> Just right off the bat right there, okay? Just think about that. You only you know your story. You know who the burden was, right? It could have been you or another person, right? So let's see what this eight of eight of uh, fire is, right? Eight of fire, eight of fire. That you know, I've seen that. Oh, look, open right to page. Action, change, transformation, transmutation, rebirth, freedom, renewed, purpose, joy. Okay, yeah, just like the eight of swords, right? Or wands. I'm sorry. Um, somebody's gonna come in with a message to you, right? Somebody sees you as you know what? You have a purpose. Right. Or you feel that way about somebody. You feel that somebody has a purpose and you feel like, you know what, I don't I, I haven't really given having a purpose, any thought, which means like I haven't given any goals, any thoughts. <laughs> right. Somebody might not have wanted to had any or somebody might not have had any goals. They see uh, you possibly as somebody who is doing that or you see somebody else who's doing that and um, you're with it. <clears throat> yeah, you're with it and you want to find joy. You want to find happiness. So those might be your goals, right? So why is this eight of fire here? Okay, this is for Capricorn. Why is this eight of fire here? Why is this? Whoa, shoot. Well, we got the Knight of Wands. Had to poke his head out there, right? <laughs> Capricorn, so you could be holding this energy or somebody could be coming into you with this energy, right? Coming in to give you a message of passion. Right? Somebody wants to tell you something, Capricorn. They want to tell you, yeah, passion for you. <laughs> right? Oh, shit, you guys. <laughs> Let's see what happened. Oh, my God. All right. There was some passion that came in towards you, Capricorn, right? It ended up being some sort of backstabbing energy, though, right? Somebody um, might have been playing games with you. Mm -hmm. Or you playing games with them, but... I do see here that it actually backfired. <clears throat> you might have wanted to do something to somebody or they might have wanted to do something to you with passionate messages, but you know what? Didn't work. 
it didn't work and you are deciding to move forward passionately with another person, you're going to come to that person. You're going to tell them the truth. You have this choice. You don't have to, but you want to, I think. And the truth is three-party situations. You're going to be telling the truth about how somebody had you in three-party situations or you put them or whatever, right? You're going to tell them the whole story because you want to start fresh with this person. Yeah. You're going to you you're putting an end to whatever this three-party situation is and you're not going to be wanting to you're not going to have to defend yourself anymore. That's great. <clears throat> right? Come and clean. That's the best way to do it. Come clean and you might be going through that right now. So currently you might be trying to devise a way to come clean. Look, you're going to make an offer to somebody, but this person doesn't look too interested. But you're going to give it a go anyways, but because you you might as well, right? You've been doing all this shit anyways. You're on a roll, Capricorn. Get the truth out. Clear your name. Clear that karma. Whatever you got going on there, right? But clear it up. Fix it up. And you can start new. That's basically what's going to happen once you come clean, right? And you can't control the way another person feels about you or what they're going to think about you because uh, you just can't. All right? So just know that and accept that <clears throat> there's a possibility that uh, things might not work out in your favor, but... Being a Capricorn, I know that you are determined, so you're definitely, I know you're going to try trying, all right? Um, I do see here you want a new stable start, a new state stable beginning with somebody, right? Let's find out what that's all about, all right? What's going on for Capricorn from May 1st to the 15th, 2020? May 1st to the 15th, 2020, what's the story with Capricorn? Oh, shit. What's the story with Capricorn and this new start and stability, right? All right, I'm going to ch chase down the cards, okay? <clears throat> All right. Ready? All right. Here we go. What's up with this Ace of Pentacles, right? Ace of Pentacles, new start, financial security, stability, right? That's what you're wanting. That's what everybody wants, but you have options. Okay? You have choices on which way, which uh, path you want to take. Okay, I do see in the past you took a path with, that involved juggling. You're no longer going to do that, right? King of Pentacles could could have been a King of Pentacles in the past when you were doing that. Possibly jumping from relationship to relationship. Uh, no longer in that energy, right? No longer also in the Ten of Pentacles. So you might have separated from somebody due to juggling. Somebody, uh, you know, you're in this energy now because things have ended. You're no longer in those energies, right? But <clears throat> you are going to be moving forward, right? And you're going to feel sad about leaving this behind, maybe even leaving money behind, right? Um, but after this sadness, you're going to be, uh, there's going to be a, some single person in your future, right? Single lady. And this might be somebody that you are wanting to work it out with. So this is somebody from the past, yeah. You want to come in and tell that person the truth. You want to start new passionately with them. Shit, man. You want to start passionately. You want to tell the truth. And you want stability. Where is the Ace of Cups, though? Right? Where's the love? This is not going to be a happy relationship without that. So give this some thought, Capricorn. There might not be love here. Uh, there, there might not be enough love to, uh, because maybe somebody has depleted you, your last relationship fucked you over, made you feel shitty. You might not be trusting love right now. So, but I do see, look, Capricorn, this is your destiny. Whatever's going on here, this is the person. This is your one. This is the person that you are going to be with for the rest of your life. This is a person that's going to take care of you and love you like no other, basically. Yeah, look, you're waiting for them. Either they're waiting for you or you're waiting for them. Somebody's waiting, right? And somebody knows also that this is the destiny. You know, they know that they have a destiny with a single woman, right? Um, they place this woman in a category of options. Really poor, <laughs> poor, 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 poor idea. <laughs> Anyways, you guys. So, um, yeah, hopefully you thought about your question, Capricorn. I'm going to go ahead and move forward with these stones. So if you um, have a question and your eyes are targeted on one of these stones, that's most likely your answer. So if your eyes are targeted on this stone, I'm going to find out what that answer is, right? 
We have the fox, a sneaky little fox swiper. No, so, no, I'm just kidding. Okay, we have, um, this is cleverness and adaptability. So you could be dealing with somebody who's just like that. You could also be like that, a very clever person who can adapt to all sorts of situations. Um, answer to your question there, Capricorn, is yes. Six of Pentacles, you could be dealing with a Taurus, but uh, you could be wanting equal give and take with a Taurus, okay? You want to maybe get back together with a Taurus, something like that, right? Now, here's the love messages, though, okay? Now, Capricorn, this could be you or the other person. Somebody here is jealous, overly jealous, extremely jealous, right? I want to protect you. <laughs> the desert, you may have met them in the desert. You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Pisces, right? Um, or you could have those in your chart, right? We have the number five. Uh, going out to eat, you may have gone out to eat with this person several times. Might be a favorite pastime. We have five, we have M, we have K, we have F, we have H, we have J and N, right? <clears throat> so those numbers and letters may resonate, okay? So uh, if you had your eyes targeted on this pile, this stone, let's find out what's going on here. Okay, we have the frog, right? Emotional healing and cleansing. So that's what this frog is all about. So you might be uh, involved with somebody who's going through some sort of emotional times, emotional healing or cleansing. This could also be you going through that, you know, after trying times, after separations or whatever, right? Um, answer to your question is yes. <laughs> and you know what? For those of you who chose the number two stone, here is that Ace of Cups. All right. So you were missing the Ace of Cups in this row in the reading. If you chose the second stone, there is your Ace of Cups. That is your second, that's your confirmation there that you can have a new beginning with the person you're thinking about. Everything is brand new, fresh start, fresh everything, even the emotions, all right? Everything is going to go into your favor. Let's see the love message. Okay, yes, you are winning. You are a genius. <laughs> we do have the sign of Aquarius here. We have horse. Uh, this could be Chinese astrology. You are cute. Oh, you are cute. All right. This person has been working on their stability, so their root chakra is doing pretty darn good, right? Um, we do have the number eight. So the number eight could resonate. You could have uh, you could have been born in August. You could be born on the eighth day. Uh, you could have been born in 88, right? Um, but I do see the number eight, and we have the letters A, C, G, T, X, J, N and Y, so that could resonate with somebody out there, okay? All right. So if you have chosen the third stone, let's find out what it is. I love this stone. I think it's like some sandstone or some shit, but it looks really cool. Okay, we have the bear, right? This uh, bear is a very strong bear, and it goes into introspection, right? The bear hibernates, you know? And this is what I think that your person does, or you do this. When you go into thinking, you kind of go into like a hibernation mode right? But you are strong and you do come out with answers. Okay, that's cool. Now we have the answer to your question is yes. All right. We have the nine of pentacles. You, uh, If you're thinking about a single lady or a Virgo, you're wondering if you have a chance at a relationship with that person. The answer is yes, right off the bat. Right off the bat, yes, you have a chance. All right, graceful. This is your love message. This person is graceful. We could be talking about that nine of pentacles lady, right? Um, they might think that you or they are selfish. One of you guys are selfish here, right? This is a fierce person. That could be a fire sign, right? Um, this person's third eye chakra, not really uh, doing well. You, yours or theirs. Um, I do see that there is also um, issues on communications, but it's being worked on. So that's awesome. We have D, we have W, we have Q, we have Z, we have N, we have H, L, or J. So those can be, uh, that, those are part of your love messages. Those can be, those can resonate with you somehow. <clears throat> All right. So yeah, that was for Capricorn. Really, really nice reading. Very nice. Remember, keep it true love energy around here. Happy, friendly, and loving. Nothing to fear because we're coming cheerful, right? As long as we keep that mantra kind of going, this is what I'm feeling, okay? This is my epiphany. <laughs> no, um, I'm feeling like if we keep that kind of that mantra going, it's going to it's gonna be, we're going to um, manifest that into our life, right? We're here because of true love, and that's how we, we want to end up with, right? So I'm feeling we stick with that mantra, uh, mantra, mantra, however you want to say it, tomato, tomato, 
um, potato, potato. <laughs> um, however we um, resonate with that, you know, keeping it positive like that, true love energy, we're going to attract that to ourselves, okay? So, yeah, my name is Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.